Welcome everyone to another tutorial on how to use Geyser. Uh, this one is going to be about staking and unstaking in a Geyser. And for background for anyone, uh, Geysers are a configurable token distribution contract. They're a way to enable someone to stake a token in a contract in return for earning a reward. In this case, you need to be two in return for TEST as a reward. The way a Geyser works is that it's constantly unlocking those reward funds, TEST in this Geyser over the course of some sort of funding period, which is two days here. So 1,000 TEST will be unlocked over the coming two days. The portion of the unlocked rewards that you earn in the Geyser are based on how many share seconds you have. And those are pretty simple. They're basically the total amount staked times the length of time that they've been staked in the Geyser. So in this case, 0.2 UniV2 have been staked in this Geyser globally, and over the course of time, they've accrued 414 million share seconds. On the left side, you can see that I haven't staked yet, so I don't have any under my stake category, and I haven't accrued any share seconds. So let's go ahead and start by choosing an amount that we want to stake. You don't have to stake everything you have, and in this case, I'm choosing to only stake 0.1 UniV2 instead of my entire 0.8. You can, of course, stake multiple times. You can stake as many times as you'd like. You can continue to increase your stake to earn more share seconds over time, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to stake once to keep things simple. While the transaction is confirming, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward. Now that the transaction is confirmed, you can see all of my uh, information about my stake has been updated. I have started to accrue share seconds, and my stake shows here in the geyser, my 0.1 stake. And so over time, I'm earning more and more share seconds, and therefore earning a larger share in the pool. You can see that I have 14 million share seconds out of the 465 million share seconds accrued throughout the entirety of this geyser. And because my share seconds are going up, my rewards are going up. You can see in real time as your rewards grow in this geyser. And this represents exactly what you would earn in this geyser if you unstaked right at this moment. One thing to note is that not only am I earning share seconds, but that multiplier that you see up there is also going to increase the longer and longer I hold in the geyser. The longer I hold without unstaking, the larger my multiplier. But for the purposes of this tutorial, let's go ahead and unstake. We can unstake our full staked amount, or we can unstake a portion of it. doesn't matter. It's up to you. Your tokens are always yours to unstake whenever you would like. I'm going to go ahead and select all of my UniV2, just to showcase how this will all come out in terms of the math. Now here's the secret sauce of Geyser. We have a token, GYSR, or Geyser token, that enables you to multiply your rewards out of the Geyser. The more Geyser you use while on staking, the more of a multiplier you'll get on your actual withdrawal. It's important to note that using Geyser is completely optional. You don't have to use any of it, and you'll simply re receive the rewards that you see up in the top. But using this multiplier is a great way to power farm any Geyser and maximize your rewards. I'm going to use 10 geyser and receive a 4x multiplier on this. The exact math of how the multiplier is applied can be found in our white paper, and I definitely recommend reading up more. But for now, let's click unstake and approve this transaction, and then see it on Etherscan to see how it all turns out. Now that the transaction is confirmed, we can see that I received my 0.1 UniV2 back into my wallet. I also received 3.23 TEST as rewards, and I spent my 10 geyser uh, that have been sent to the contract. It's important to note that any geyser token spent when unstaking from the geyser is actually sent to the geyser creator as a way to further fund their project, so they don't have to rely on their coin pumping to actually sustain the building and development of whatever they're working on. Heading back to the geyser, you'll see that the state has now reset. I don't have anything staked in the geyser because it's been withdrawn, and my share seconds are now back down to zero because my stake is at zero. And because of that, my rewards have all been withdrawn. I'm not earning anything going forward. However, the geyser will continue to unlock more tokens. Uh, anyone who's still staked in the geyser will continue to accrue share seconds, and they'll be able to unstake their rewards. And that's your five minute lesson on how to stake and unstake from a geyser. There's a lot of nuances in how this all works behind the scenes, so I definitely recommend having a look at our website and our white paper to understand a little bit more about how this all actually happens under the hood. 
But stay tuned for more info and looking forward to you taking part in the first geysers out there.